Hey, Oliver, how are you? I'm very good, yeah. We're in the basement of this beautiful hall. I don't know, where are we? Massey Hall. Massey Hall. You should know that if you're going on stage. Um, well, the thing is, I just kind of get told where to go, and I do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> so let's dive right in. You know, when I knew I was going to interview you, the one thing that came to my mind, the one question I had to ask is, is the world getting fatter? Um, well, I think um, the uh, World Health Organization said that uh, about six months ago that for the first time in human history ever, um, more people are dying because of diet-related disease than, you know, hunger and famine. So, yeah, the, the, the world's changing um, in lots of different ways. Um, so it's, it is an interesting time. I mean, we, it, we can't sustain what's happening. Well, you've toured the world. Uh, if you were to compare Can Canadians to Americans, is there one that uh, wins for fattest between Canada and the U.S.? No, I think you know it's fair to say that sort of America is is quite a bit ahead of Canada in sort of bad health uh, and statistics. But you know, I think you know both England and Canada are sort of in their coattails, um, and we're not comfortably distanced away. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the same patterns are happening. And you know, it's not just bad health or shorter life expectancy. It's, you know, happiness, um, productivity, you know, being able to go to school and sort of learn as effectively as possible. I mean, you know, how many schools have really rubbish food in school? I mean, well, I saw a thing where you dumped uh, a pile of sugar yeah. on a stage. It was a great documentary, and I didn't know until I saw you do that that there's that much sugar in milk. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's... Um, I guess the world through my eyes is a really different place uh, than for a lot of people. And, and like when you start looking at sort of, you know, I think when you're talking about food revolution and sort of health and stuff like that, or doing the right thing, you know, people often think it's about taking away your burger or your pizza. And I think, you know, look, like cakes and ice cream, you know, these treats have always been a joy. And for the love of God, have them. Have, have, have them. But when you have them, you know, nowhere to go where they do a real one, where you're getting like proper 100% meat and not kind of watered down with loads of mechanically reclaimed rubbish. So it's about being streetwise about food. At the same time, you know, that whole dumping thing was like, you know, uh, every day in LA, uh, you know, over a million bottles of milk are given to kids. And they're obsessed by flavoured milk because if they have flavoured milk, they'll drink more of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and not a massive percentage, but they will drink more of it because of that. But it's full of additives, colours, and it's got more total sugars per 100 millilitres than a can of Coke or Fizzy Pop or whatever. So, I mean, the point is, is if you go and talk to any American dentist about kids' teeth, they'll just tell you, they'll just tell you it's a horror show. So, I mean, from my point of view, you know, you start looking at the milk, just white milk, and that can't even be left anymore. That's pink, yellow, black. You know, that's, you know... No Just drink water. Well, that, the thing is, that's what you're fighting against. Water is, is, is free, mm -hmm. you know, so they don't like that because there's, you know... And the funny thing is, if you go into an American sort of hall, you know, the milk board are allowed to advertise in the hall. Yeah. You know, all the other brands, you know, that you associate with junk aren't. Yeah. But then this innocent little milk board comes in and actually they've got, you know, some more damaging stuff in there. Uh, sugar-wise than some of these uh, junk companies. Last couple of questions before we get wrapped up. Uh, who are you making dinner for on Christmas? I've got about 26 people around this Christmas. Um, but you know what I'm getting at. I read that you're making family dinner for, for the pits, Brad Pitt. No, that's complete rubbish. That's honestly rubbish. Did you hear about that? I have heard about it several times and I can assure you Mr. Pitt has not asked me. Um, and um, he'll he'll I know he'll probably be in France and uh, he'll have a cook sorted, but it's not me and he hasn't asked me. <laughs> and I have to ask you as well. Um, okay, so because I have like one question left, is what's the deal with gluten free? Like every this is new fat. Everybody's wanting to do gluten free stuff. Okay. Is it really important for us to do that? I don't even know what that means. Gluten free? Well, obviously it's no gluten. I guess they're kind of. Referring to less carbohydrates. Because mm -hmm. um, companies advertise now on the boxes, gluten-free, like we're supposed to dive into that. Uh, well, if you've got a gluten intolerance, obviously that's cool. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if you're trying to have less carbs um, because you're not sort of, you know, exercising and burning off those kind of calories. I mean, basically carbohydrates will get essentially set as fat if you're not going to burn it off. So I guess that's probably the fat, really. You know, carbohydrates are fantastic. They're wonderful for explosive energy. Um, but if you're going to sit down and do nothing and just play, like, 
games all night, then it's probably not a good idea. Okay, I have to do this with you. When I say the following meal, think of the first one thing that comes to your mind, okay? okay. Breakfast. Uh, bacon sandwich. Lunch. Uh, uh, spaghetti arabiata. Dinner. Uh, wicked little curry. Midnight snack. Um, oof. Midnight snack. Um, midnight snack. Well, it'd have to be. What would a midnight snack be? Jesus. Um, probably. A little jar of pickled chilies, which is probably a bit gross, but I kind of like pickled chilies. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pleasure man. to see you once again.